let's also take a quick check of the other story that we're tracking from Tripura now, where the left versus right battle has reached another crescendo that after a Lenin statue was brought down, allegedly by BJP supporters. So the left has come out all guns blazing after this video and this incident came to light. 48, af 48 hours after the assembly election results, where BJP thumped to a majority after 25 years of the left. Home Minister Rajnath Singh, though, has spoken to the Tripura governor and the DJP, asking them to maintain law and order in the state. Eshwarya Kapura, political editor, joining us over the phone line now. Eshwarya, what's the latest? Is there any investigation being conducted into this? Well, as you just said, Shivani, after that call made by the Home Minister Rajnath Singh to the governor and also to the DGP, inquiries have been uh, started. We are being told that, yes, there are several inquiries which are on as we speak, and at least uh, half a dozen individuals have also been arrested. Uh, but keeping in mind that the central government has spoken to the governor, that till the point of time a new chief minister has been sworn in, there should not be any more untoward incident at all. And specifically after that incident and the video going viral, of the statue being literally uh, mowed down by an earth-moving vehicle is something which has really disturbed uh, uh, the senses here in the central government as well. And then, and then North Block getting active, a direct indication has been given that irrespective of whomsoever is involved, irrespective of their political okay. lineage, they should be taken to task and law and order should be maintained, Shimani. All right, the Thagat Roy is actually joining us. And of course, he's already you know, tweeted out on this issue. You had said, sir, that if elected governments can erect statues, then elected governments can bring them down as well. The only difference, I though, is that the government didn't do this. The government, it is BJP supporters allegedly on the ground who've no, done this. Do you election, feel what, what that this should have been allowed at all? And the elected government can do. Please me. Yes, Mr. Roy, go ahead. Don't you think there's a problem when statues are brought down like this by just ordinary people? Please don't talk to me. I have not said anything about pulling down the statues. I said what, elect, what democratically elected government can do, another democratically elected government can undo. This is an abstract proposition. It has got nothing to do with the pulling down of statues. And the pulling down of statues is a thing which has got to be taken care of by the elected government. Right now, I am in the position of a custodian whose job is to maintain law and order and do exactly that, or more or less. So can you give us a sense of what, what is the action that has been initiated by you as the governor? I act, my action is sensitize the entire district administration to make sure that there is no breach of law and order. And who is behind this act, sir? Preliminary, is what is that you're learning? Are these BJP that workers? The, that is not for me to find out. That is for the district administration to do. But as long as I am here, I shall make sure that there is no breach of law and order. All right, the Thagat Troy, Tripura governor joining us. Of course, this is as much political as about the law and order as well. Let's listen in to what Sita Ram Yachuri though had to say a short while ago on this entire incident. The left, of course, making this a huge battle for the country itself. <laughs> 